data types are classification or categorization of data items. So data types represent the kind of value, represent the kind of value which determines what operations can be performed on the data. So I said a equals to 10 and a is integer. So what operations can I perform? I can do all this subtraction, addition, division, multiplication, etc. So that is what data types actually does. So it will determine what sort of operations I can do. So I can say I, my a is 10. So I can do something like a plus 20. My a is 10. So the answer will be 30. The answer I get is 30. I can do something like a divided by 2. So 10 by 2, the answer will be 5. So it will determine the data type of this particular variable determines what sort of operations I can perform on data. Okay. So there are two types of data types in Python, primitive and non-primitive. So the first is primitive data types. We have none, members, string, and boolean. So none is null value. There is no empty value or, or null value is none. So this is the primitive data type. And then inside numbers, we have three. It could be integer, we have float, we have complex. We have integers, float, and complex. And then we have string, we have boolean. Let us look at what are literals. So we have looked at it, right? Primitive data types, none, members, string, boolean. So all these are also called as literals. At the higher level, data types are primitive and non-primitive. Primitive data types are also called as literals. Literals. So this is another meaning to it. It's another name to it. So literal is a raw data given a variable or constant. In Python, there are various types of literals. This is something that we already learned. So we have uh, numeric, string, and boolean. So all the data types, like numeric, string, and boolean, are also called as literals. There is another name for primitive data types. Okay. So the first of which is nu uh, numeric literals. In none, there is nothing to learn. So it is just a none value. There is that is specifying that there is no value. It is empty. So that is that's it. So there is nothing much to learn about none. So that's it. Then we start with numeric literals. So the first of data types is numeric literals or numeric data types. So numeric literals, see, are immutable. So not just numeric literals, all the primitive data types are immutable. So numeric, uh, numeric literals can belong to three types, integer, float, and complex. So we have uh, all this a equals to 10, all the examples that we looked at, b equals to 15, etc. All these are decimals. Decimal is to the base 10. So probably this is like, you know, 10 plus uh, mass, school mass. So everything with base 10 is similar. So that is what we commonly use. We have seen examples. So if I want to convert this into binary, so everything that I say like zero, everything, sorry. Everything I say zero B, O, B, and then whatever I say, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, etc. Or my binary or binary literals. So everything that starts with zero B is binary literal. Decimal, all the uh, regular digits, 10, 15, 100, 150, etc. They are decimals to the base 10. This is to the base 2. This is to the base 10. And octal is everything that I say 0 and O, small O. This is O actually. And this is 0. 0, O. 0, B is binary. 0, O is octal. And 0, X is hexadecimal. So anything that we start with um, B is uh, binary. O is octal, X is hexadecimal. So octal is to the base 8 and hexadecimal is to the base 16. Okay. So mostly all we are interested in is decimals. We hardly look up, uh, we deal with binary, octal, and hexadecimal. But this is only for theory purpose. So practically for a data scientist, uh, we should know what these binary decimals are, but we don't usually use. So that's fine. Only thing is for theory purpose, just understand that anything that has 0b is binary literal o 0 o is octal 0 x hexadecimal so these are numeric uh, numeric literals okay. what are data types so to understand like you know what data types are so just say i said a equals to 10 and we know a is integer but how do we check it the way we check it is using type type actually use data type typ this will specify what is the data type of particular variable if i say type of a it will say int. My a is an integer. So that is what it means. Okay. If I say type of my website, we have created a variable called website earlier. So if I say type of website, it says str. str stands for string. Okay. If I say 
if i say let us look at 10 divided by 2 the answer is 5.0 so if i say type of type of i can uh, assign it to a variable and check it or i can even directly check it this way as well type of 10 by 2 10 by 2 is float 5.0 so that is float and if i say like you know from x equals to uh, 1.2 e3 okay and then if i say print of x so you can say to the power of 10 i said right e e is 10 to the power of so that is something that you can see and everything that is written as e is actually float it is actually an integer you can see like you know 1200 the value is 1200 but in python it is printed as a float so this is uh, one small thing that you need to remember and then complex numbers right so if i have uh, something like uh, uh, and in python it is not uh, I, it is j actually so if i say x equals to or uh, let me just say z z equals to 3.j then it is a complex number so if i say type of z it says complex okay it is not i like in uh, we learned in mathematics it is uh, j here okay and uh, the other thing is if i want to extract real part and imaginary part i need to say x uh, z dot the variable name dot if i say real it will give me the real value which is we don't have anything if i have something like 10 plus 3.4 then it will give my real value as 10 and my imaginary part is imaginary part how do we get it i n a imaginary i n e g so then it will give my imaginary part it is a combination of uh, real and imaginary part so quite simple a string literal sequence of characters surrounded by codes we can use single quotes double quotes or triple quotes as well so single quotes or double quotes or triple quotes as well for a string so a character literal is a single character surrounded by single or double quotes so if okay so i said website i said website equals to google okay and then if i say type of website it says string only one if it is only one if you just say g only g then it is a character literal but again if i do type of website it will again show, uh, show it as string so there is uh, implicitly in python there is no difference between character and string literal but we will see the difference when we are looping it so shortly we will be uh, seeing those difference but for now uh, as per python there is no difference between single uh, character and multiple characters so everything is a string no character literal so it's everything is a string literal we can use either single quotes or double quotes which we have learned yesterday or we can use triple quotes as so this is also a string so if i do of website it gives string and if i do print of website there also you can see it is google so there is no difference between a single quotes double quotes or triple quotes the only difference is if i don't assign it to any variable if i don't assign it to any variable then this is a comment if i don't assign it to any variable then this is a comment if i write it inside a function then it is dot string if i assign it to a variable it is a string so there is a lot of confusion right so that is the reason we avoid it we avoid triple quotes altogether in extreme rare cases like we have seen uh, wendy's chicken right when wendy's chicken so here we said uh, we can also use single quotes because there is apostrophe so in these cases so in extreme rare cases like uh, something like uh, python in python session we are discussing about strings okay set run and uh, uh, dinner at wendy's chicken so this is this is my statement and because uh, it is a uh, statement made by ravi i say i will put everything in double quotations okay and the dinner we have double quotations single quotations also in a single statement to make everything as a string we use a triple quotes in extreme rare cases like this where we use both single quotes and double quotes we if you want to declare something as a string we'll use triple quotes otherwise we always use either double quotes or single quotes both double quotes and single quotes are accepted um, in python they are good coding standards you are free to use both single quotes and double quotes there is no restriction from the coding standard onwards but 
use triple quotes only in extreme rare cases where inside our string our string actually contains quotations like single quotes and double quotes if our uh, string itself contains quotations only then go for triple quotes otherwise always go for either single quotes or double quotes so this is one so how do we define string you can either enclose in single quotes double quotes or triple quotes and when do you use uh, triple quotes when we have both this is uh, like you know one case otherwise we can use it uh, normally also this is also acceptable python accepts it but use it only when you have extreme rare cases where we cannot use single quotes or double quotes only in those cases go for triple quotes otherwise triple quotes are reserved for doc strings in so if i say a equals to true and remember whenever i say true it is a keyword it changes color to green so if i say a equals to true, true and i say print of a it says true sorry if i do type of a it says bool so bool is actually boolean okay so if i say b equals to false remember the t and f are capital here t and f are capitals here okay if i say type of b it is boolean okay so this is boolean boolean are true and false well, this, there is nothing more to learn about boolean at this point of time so when we learn about comparison operators like uh, single equals to i am assigning this particular value to b so when we look at comparison operators if i want to say a equals to 10 okay i have defined a equals to 10 but i want to check if my a equals to 10 or not if my a equals to 12 or not so if i do something like this, a equals to 12 what i'm doing is is my a i'm comparing is my a equals to 12 if single equals to means assigning this value of 10 to a double equals to means comparing this value whether my 10 whether my value a equals to 12 or not it said false if i say a equals to equals to 10 if i am asking by then is it is it equal to 10 it says true it says true see only uh, we'll be looking at comparison operators again uh, shortly i'll explain you a little more so if i say before that if i say 1 equals to equals to true it says true if i say 10 equals to equals to true it it says false okay now if i say minus 1 equals to equals to true i said false now if i say 0 or let me just say 10 equals to equals to false it says false so now if i say 0 equals to equals to false it says true so the thing we need to understand here is in python one is represented as true and zero is represented as false so that is the reason when i compare one with true it said true if i compare anything else with true it always said false okay and if i compare anything else with false apart from zero if i say zero equals to true zero equals to true it says false so only if i compare one with two only then it says true for everything else if i compare anything else it says false when it comes to false, 0 is internally reprinted as false actually. So 0 and false are meaning they are same. So 0 equals to false. If I compare anything else with false, it says false. Only 0 equals to false. So the takeaway is uh, true can also be reprinted as 1. False can also be reprinted as zeros. So true and false, we can interchange with 1s and zeros. Not every time, but booleans can be reprinted uh, in the form of ones and zeros as well. So one represents true or true represents one and false implies zero. 